Now, Sycamore Hoops at home this afternoon. ISU welcomed Division II opponent Truman State to the Holman Center for a 1 o'clock contest. Sycamore is trying to move above 500 on the year. Now, Truman State led 7-0 out of the gate, but then Jake Odom went to work. Getting down the lane, he's hammered. He gets the runner to fall. Now the Sycamores are running with it a little bit. Lucas Idle catches in transition on the wing. When he's open, you can count on him nailing the three ball. That's good for ISU's first lead of the day. Ball on the ground. Manny Arop comes away with it. He flushes it home on the other end to force a Truman State timeout. And just look at the enthusiasm of this young basketball team. RJ Mahirin with the catch in traffic. He throws it above the rim. Justin Gant right there to throw it down for two of his nine points on the day. Now Mahirin stepping outside. He catches it in the corner. He's a nightmare matchup at 6-9 when you can shoot it like that. Mahirin had 12 on the afternoon and ISU led by 8 at halftime. Second half, Odom left open on the perimeter, and if you leave him open, he'll knock down that jumper. He hits that shot consistently. You just can't stop 13 when he's shooting it well because he also does things like this. Great move down the baseline, leaves a bunny for Jake Kitchell. Kitchell finished with eight points, but it was the Odom show today. Just getting to the rim whenever he wanted. Jake finished with a game-high 17. He was six of six from the line. The Sycamores beat Truman State 70-57. But after the game, Coach Lansing certainly not impressed with his team's performance against the Division II Bulldogs. I'm embarrassed how I coached, embarrassed how the team played. And, um, you know, you, you try to be honest with your guys. And just one of our things we've talked about before is the maturity level of our team. And uh, it, didn't, it showed like we were not a very mature team tonight. We came out a little, a little sluggish. Um, Defensively was was not very good today, but uh, we fought through and uh, got the win, and that's what's most important. We have potential to be a good team, but we're not we're not showing um, like we didn't improve from the Winthrop game to today. I thought we had two good days of practice, and we did get better, but we didn't show it today.